Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode four of the Cookie Club presented by Insomnia Cookies alongside J.D. Davis and Dom Smith. I'm Steve Gelbs. Fellas, uh, after a week three in which we brought on Jeff McNeil, it's back to the original crew. Uh, I thought Jeff handled his own just fine. What version of Jeff McNeil is tougher to take as a teammate? The red hot Jeff McNeil or the Jeff McNeil in a major slump? Oh, <laughs> that was a great question. Dang. Steve, when have I been in a major slump, too? <laughs> Look, see, there he is. Bad, bad, bad. I knew that was coming. You set yourself up for that one, Steve. Dom, what would you think of Jeff's performance? I think Jeff did a good job. Um, you know, we, we, we need to bring him back one more time um, so we can get him on with some cookies. You know, we got to take care of him. Got to take care of the guys who come on and take care of us. No doubt. Well, we've got cookies on the show today. We've got JD, who is going to finally show off his bizarre cookie technique for oh, how he eats don't worry cookies. About that. I, I just started without y'all. I just made it. You guys are, are both from California. As you look back on your childhood, the, the idols that you, um, you had growing up, is there one team, one group of guys that if you could go back – and play with those guys, play for that team. Is there one team that, that you would choose to, to do that with? JD? I don't know why it just stuck, but uh, I was a big Red Sox fan. You know, I think it was more of just playing with them on the MLB The Show when I was growing up as a kid. I, I have no idea why, but I would just follow them and then follow them all the way up to they won their uh, first World Series and that whole curse thing. But a group of guys that like I would want to play with, oh man. Um, I mean, besides that Red Sox team with Manny, David Ortiz, that whole group, that was insane. But I think it would be pretty cool to uh, um, play with, uh, let's say that Seattle team would be pretty cool with Ken Griffey, Young A-Rod and all that. I think that would have been a, that would have been a pretty cool group to at least, you know, see them play as youngsters. I think that like the early 2000 Angels, um, I was a big Angels fan, you know, they had like the Triple G that one time, they had, you know, Vladimir Guerrero and Carlos Guillen and uh, uh, Garrett Anderson and, you know, they just used to bang, they were scrappy. My favorite player personally growing up was Sean Figgins, which is very weird to say, but I, I, I just really liked him at the time because he was so versatile and um, he hit like early in the lineup. He always got something going. You know, he stole bases um, and he played all over the field, which was rare at that time. You know, to to bounce around from third to outfield to short to second. Um, you know, and do it at a high level. I'm so happy that you brought up Sean Figgins because that was my guy that I always drafted in fantasy baseball. Just because he could, you could put him, you could put him in any position. You always knew. Anywhere. Anyway, yeah. he was the only guy exactly. that you could throw in literally any position. I loved Sean Figgins. Yeah, he was awesome. He was, I mean, like I say, he was my favorite player. Like, switch hitter, you know, just a grinder. Like, just played hard. Um, that's the type of player that, uh, you know, I wanted to be like. And then, obviously, I got older. I kind of realized, like, okay. You're not a grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a grinder, but I can't be Sean Figgins. I'm not Switch hitting and right-handed, like it's impossible. Who is more versatile? Who's closer to Sean Figgins? Is it J.D. Davis, the pitcher slash left fielder slash third baseman, or Dom Smith, the left fielder slash first baseman slash catcher? Slash shortstop. Ooh. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm more versatile because I'm faster than J.D., so I think so. Like, I don't – I don't care what MLB stack has say, like all those numbers. Like, I don't care about that. They say I throw like 82 from the outfield. I don't care. I know I have a cannon. I'm going to show it one day. One play, it's going to be one play. I'm going to show the cannon off, Dang. check about 95. And then it's going to be one day that I, I bust a hard 90 down the line and my sprint speed is, is pretty up there. But I know for sure I'm faster than JD, so I'm more versatile. I'll give, I'll give, I'll give it. To Dom's a little more versatile, especially he gets it a little bit more turbo drive when he's running down the first and he get that tongue out. So, yeah, he's driving. <laughs> now he's going a little faster. Week one of this digital series, the Cookie Club, we talked about J.D. Davis's bizarre technique of eating cookies, which Dom Smith – got sick over while we were discussing it. 
We'll check in with you once a week. Maybe next time you guys will actually bring some cookies. I know, J.D., you like to take a spoon and dunk some of the cookies. Oh, man. it's Oh, it's the grossest Can't. thing ever. Can't. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's bizarre. You might, need to, you might need to show everybody. And maybe right now, I would like you to break down the proper way to eat an insomnia cookie with milk, please. Take your insomnia cookie, okay? Got your Mets cup, okay? Fill it up with 2% milk, okay? Take the cookie. Depending on the cookie size, you can, you know, fold it or take it apart in four pieces, or you can just fold it right in half. And you just put it straight in the milk, straight in the milk. And let it rest in there. Let it soak up. Let it soak up all the goodness. Okay. Can we see it? Can you show it? See right there. See it's the whole cookie. I mean, yeah, you can't really see that, but whatever. It's four pieces. Um, so and that gives you the opportunity to talk to your friends without, you know, having milk on your fingers or anything like that. You know, Dom likes to do. He likes to do hand gestures. So when we're talking to each other, sometimes he does a hand gesture and it flicks in people's faces all the time because he likes to dip his whole hand. That is in the so milk. lie. That's that's a that's a story. You know, right you got to wash your hands. So. Um, I like to be, you know, a little more respectful to people and I use a spoon. So I just kind of, you know, after I'm socialized with my friends, you know, I just kind of dip it out, you know, just have like a little spoonful, a little, little fourth of a cookie. And then it's, you know, there you go. That's so gross. That's free. You know, it's clean. Ew. Got a cookie. That's the best of both worlds. I have to say that I totally back dom after seeing that i thought that is gross I, I thought you put a part of the cookie on the spoon and then just dipped it in quickly you let it rest he let it hey steve you see his milk by the time it's all done his milk is all like oh it looks like boo-boo chunks are in his milk it looks so <laughs> gross it looks That's gross i'm like hard. and then he like just drinks it and he has like a, a milk mustache with like cookie dough on his lip is so gross it's, it's terrible okay it's time now for my favorite segment every week the cookie dough segment uh i know we came at jd pretty hard last week look at my oh kid my God. Ew, <laughs> what kind of haircut is that oh girl baseball no! baby you recovered okay from it yeah, I'm fine now. Yeah, are you ready to bring it after Dom here? Because Dom, let me tell you something. Dom is tough to find something on. He has okay. been he has been coached up from a young age. I found a high school interview from him, totally flawless. It was very impressive. So I had to go even further back. And most of the time, this cookie dough segment, you know, it's something embarrassing, something a little awkward. I don't know if we want to say that, those are words we would attribute to this picture here, but it's something worth showing. So we're going way back deep in the archives. I will share my screen with you. And here we go, fellas. Oh! <laughs> what is that? Hey, no way. Big. Go away. That is crazy. That is in my house. Where is that? How'd you get that? How did I oh, get baby that Dom. Dom. I had the curly hair back then. Oh, I was smiling. God. I had two dimples. Oh, wow. JD, your thoughts on this picture? Oh, my gosh. That's the best looking picture Dom has ever had right there. I mean, Oh. He just got the <laughs> <laughs> age better as time, but it, uh, <laughs> take me <laughs> back. <laughs> take me back. I mean, look at that. He, at least he had hair back in the day. I mean, oh my <laughs> the face is an adult face. That's it really an adult is adult face <laughs> on a baby's body. It really hey. is. That's my hey, that's my adult face. You got that's how I still face. look. Dom, how old are you there? I don't know. Eight months? Nine months? My son is about to turn 10 months. And I Who's mean, he bigger? Looks, you. Look at that. Your, head, your head is bigger than he, his entire body. Your well, head is taking up half your body right there. I have helmet problems and hat problems sometimes. I have a big head to this day. I think I, I got that from my dad. My dad, man, now if you want to talk about a head, wow, he has a big box. 
big box head. But I love him to death. And he gave me his big box head. Now I have a big box head. Yeah, back then, I probably still wore like a seven and a half in that bitch or something like that. J.D., after we came at you hard last week, did, did this response live up to it? Oh, I love it. Love you better than that. I hope that all over the internet now, the big old head, the curly fro right there, those dimples. Hey. He, he grew, his body grew into that, into that face and that head. All right, let's wrap it up now with the fortune cookie segment. Two weeks ago, uh, J.D. just crushed Dom on the fortune cookie segment where, uh, where he said under 20 and a half Instagram stories in a week for Jeff McNeil. And I believe McNeil came up with six. So Let me down, squirrel. SMY has been simulating your entire season in MLB okay. the show. Okay? So starting, we're taping this on Monday. So starting today, we have seven games that you guys will be playing and simulating before our next taping. Four against the Braves, three against the Brewers, so a tough stretch all at home. Price is right style. So you can't say 7-0. and oh. you, you can, but you're risking because you can't go over. How many yeah. wins without going over, Dom, will the virtual Mets get this week on SMY.TV? See, virtual Mets, like virtual reality, MLB The Show, they don't show us any love like that. Like, I believe in my squad. Like, if we're out there playing, I know we would go 7-0 for sure. But virtually, let me see. I think 4-3. and three. We'll go 4-3. and three. We'll, we'll, be, we'll finish over 500 this week. All right. Four wins out of the seven. So, without going over, J.D. looking to take a commanding 2 nothing fortune cookie lead. What do you think? Uh, I'm going to go – I'm going to go one up on Dom. I'm going to go five five and two right there. Oh, I like that. That's a good call. That's a good call. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, so there we go. Five wins for J.D. Davis, four wins for Dom Smith. We will check back in next week. Fellas, another incredible, incredible episode of the Cookie Club. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We will see you next week. And just like always, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Mm. <laughs>